Mm, baby, what's wrong? No, no, you're not bothering me. You could just sit down. I don't mind. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. You've had such a rough day. Here, just sit with me. You know, I think I know what just might cheer you up. Would you like to watch a movie with me? Yeah, no, I was doing some homework, but fuck it, we ball. <laughs> you know? It doesn't matter. And right now, I want to focus on you. Let's just watch a movie. Try to forget about our long days. Just enjoy time together. How does that sound, my love? <laughs> it sounds good to me. Let's do it. I think I've got the perfect one. Have you ever seen Alien? Yeah, that old one. The face hugger is. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. And I love that one so much. Yeah? All right, take a seat. Let's watch it. <laughs> yes, it's quite old. It's been a while since you've heard that theme, hasn't it? Mm, I love that one so much. It takes me back. No, it's not going to be too scary. Promise. Listen, if you get too scared, you can just hold on to me. How does that sound? <laughs> yeah, I won't mind, silly. That's what I'm here for. You. Yeah, she's in this movie, too. She played in Avatar. Great actress. Absolutely stunning. You know, I met her once. Well, technically I didn't actually meet her, but... <laughs> Before the movie starts, let me tell you. I had been driving in New York with my family. And all of a sudden, we were getting off the highway. And her car passes by us. She has her top down. She's in, like, some sort of Aston Martin. I don't even know. But... She had her hand on her head, and everybody in the streets were just calling her name. Oh, it's a journey weaver. Oh, my God. My dad looked at me and was like, son, do you know who that is? I was like, no. He's like, we just saw her in the movie theater. I was like, huh? Are you serious? <laughs> it was so crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, I did technically see her, but I didn't get to meet her. Anyway, let me be quiet now. You want some popcorn? No? Okay, well, if you get hungry later on, just let me know. I like how ominous this intro is. Boo! <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry. I scare you. No, 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 there's no way. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'll shut up now. No, it's not that scary, I promise. Look, this big spaceship looks cool. You're out in the middle of space. Isn't that cool? Not scary? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here. If you get scared, just tug on me. Okay, quick nerd fact. I'm sorry I'm going to be explaining so much. This ship. Think about it. It was designed in 1979. Look how complicated and and artistic it looks. It truly looks like the insides of just the future. <laughs> it's so cool. At least I think it is. No, the aliens don't show up at the start. <laughs> Stop being silly. 
You gotta ease into these things. You ease into it. Introducing the concept. What would I do if I had to fight one? I don't know. Honestly, I think I might win. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'm being a little too cocky. Xenomorphs are pretty big. It's not going too slow. Look, see? <laughs> Ooh, spooky. The computer screen. How scary. Why is this my favorite movie? Well, I guess there's just something timeless about the overall design, right? It's not necessarily the storytelling that I love, it's the amazing design pieces that they use to create this world that truly really feels off planet and isolated. <laughs> it's kind of cool, no? Oh, come on. You know you like it. No, I'm not built like that. What are you saying, silly? Obviously, I'm more in shape. looking like that though <laughs> no, I'm joking consider this he was in hyper sleep for what a decade you never know you're not gonna wake up feeling fresh you gotta take some time I do question why he built like that though <laughs> Yes, her. She's the one I saw. Yeah, I mean, I think they de-aged her and then used her face or avatar too.
I'm sorry, I was just so captivated by the ship. I mean, look how cool that looks. I mean, this is our ideas of what a future computer might look like, this image of flashing lights. We're not too far off, just need more RGB. <laughs> and then we might be a bit closer to reality. system <laughs> their ship is off course no this is not where the aliens come in so they stop <laughs> That means either. I, I can't translate that. That sounded like scientist talk. <laughs> you gotta suspend your disbelief here. No, okay, let me say this. If there's ever a time when I'm trapped on a boat, plane, anything that requires heading downstairs into a basement, that is a no-go. I would never. I mean, obviously, you're just asking to die at that point. <laughs> I agree. ship started halfway there oh no oh yeah no it's obvious you would never check out any transmission in the middle of space that's so obvious <laughs> like that's just survival 101 random space transmission no reason to check it out yeah that guy's being rational you see that that's what i would do i'd try to be rational about it certain things we can do certain things we can't do let's be realistic like why are we trying to be heroes out here <laughs> just trying to get home required to by law what a crazy law <laughs> i mean this guy's being logical about it why on earth would you ever go to any space distress signal it's beyond me listen you could never catch me slipping like that This all looks so cool. <laughs> it's so trippy. Hearing the countdown like that.
<laughs> yeah, it does kind of look funny. You gotta consider the CGI back then was, uh, well, I mean, it wasn't even CGI back then. They used actual models. I'm pretty sure models and green screens. Very limited, but look how good it looks for that, you know? Keep in mind, that's, I mean, hey, that's impressive. <laughs> Protocol or not, you would never catch me intergalactically slipping like this. It's just a rookie mistake. Oh yeah, I know all the right decisions, don't worry. If we ever get stranded in space, just follow my lead. I won't do what these guys are doing. This is just silly. <laughs> sequence looks so cool I mean just think about the creativity that it had to go through <laughs> wait why is the ship on fire now hold on <laughs> thought landing on a foreign planet following a foreign beacon would cause disaster I mean I could have told you that <laughs> that guy is probably the only practical one on the ship.
Ain't no way. <laughs> this guy said walking distance. How curious of this beacon do you have to be? Your ship's not even running. Even if somebody was stranded out there, right? Like, what can you do? Volunteering to go out. My brain finally remembering. Why that would happen. I mean, wanting to willingly volunteer. Wow, that door is so nostalgic. Nah, darling, listen. This, this is not anywhere near the type of stuff we would want to do. Honeymoon or not, we are not going to space. Neither can I. <laughs> Good observation. Oh shoot, they got wireless cameras? Hold on, these are GoPros. The GoPros before GoPros. <laughs> I like how their idea of a broken ship is like constant gas or air gushing through vents. Clearly was a trick. I mean, <laughs> there's no way that's normal. It's 200 IQ though. I like that. The smarts. <laughs> they are really very curious, these people. Is the beacon worth it? We all know they won't find what they're really looking for. Okay. Ripley, what you got going? Bunch of zeros and ones. All right, binary. Love it. What are you going to do? Turn it into hex? Start translating binary? <laughs> oh, sorry. That cat is so cute. We should get a cat. Yeah, I don't care if I'm allergic, I would still want one. You get the hypoallergenic ones, you know. Never said too much. <laughs> Sorry, I am getting so off topic. Yes, yes, focus on the movie.
It's so eerie. How are they not scared? I mean, you don't constantly explore foreign planets. I, at least I don't think. Oh, okay. Nope. 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 That looks like an alien ship. That is the time you turn back. <laughs> I mean, how, how more obvious can they make it? That screams danger. And what do you know? They walk right towards it. Why am I not surprised? Right, because we have to figure out where that source is coming from. The scale of that thing is huge. That's so cool. Yep, good choice. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm with you. like a septum a horseshoe <laughs> I'm not sure why aliens are traveling in horseshoes or septums but uh there they are it's a it's a universal design no it's a space boomerang <laughs> Always takes you back home. Stop. Really? You went inside of it. Because that was the best thing to do in this situation. Man, humanity precedes itself always. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll stop. I, I swear. I just had to see. Didn't think you'd shake like that. I mean, look at the scale of that. Wow. Think. You can clearly identify this humanoid thing is not human. And at what point do we decide to go back? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> I see. All right. I mean, these are the scientists. Yeah, I mean, don't want to test your luck. It might be dead, but you never know. Hmm. 
Hmm. Good observation. Alien exploded from the inside. Let's... Let's stick my hand in it. <laughs> so smart we are. Oh, someone's finally being reasonable. That thing looks like an elephant. Oh my. <laughs> Look how ugly it is. Nah. Ain't no way. You found a suspicious hole on a dead alien ship and you thought to yourself, let's explore it a little more. Right, right, because that makes sense. We are so smart. I'm so happy we're not going extinct at like a crazy right. <laughs> Wait, Ripley deciphered zeros and ones and said it's a warning. You love to see it. Oh, nah, bro. What type of thought process is that? We'll find out if it's a warning or not if we explore it. Like, what does that mean? You want them to die? I can't. No. I'm propelling down this alien butthole. <laughs> it's not okay. Yeah, no, this shot alone looks like it was taken from a book. Look how detailed that is. So amazing. Good, good observation. So, uh, what's the move in this situation? Do you A, pick up the egg? B, not mess with the eggs? C, pick up the egg and run away with it? Or D, go back to option B? Oh my god. <laughs> that was the slowest fall I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you just slipped right into the alien egg. How oh, unfortunate. Now you just are required to take one for research, of course. Because why else? Clearly, this is what's required when we find alien eggs. We are just so smart. Yep, I too run my hand along alien eggs. Oh nah, that thing is moving. There is no chance. Yeah. Oh nah, bro. You're making all the wrong decisions right now. Can you believe this guy? Mm -mm, no, nah, no, nah, at that point it's done. You're getting up and walking away. We're done. Bro, don't push your face into an open egg that just voluntarily spreads itself open. Oh my god. Is anybody surprised? Like, genuinely. Ugh. <sighs> 
We are just courting death. Ain't no way. <laughs> Something has attached itself to him. That sounds about right. An organism is attached to him. Open up. And let him die. Oh, come on. That's the most realistic option. Yes, Ripley. Oh my god, she's being so logical. I love that. Bro, ain't no way that guy opened the door. He's not a team player. That's what that means. How don't you accidentally cut somebody's face like that? Oh, well. I guess the tool would be very precise and no depth that it would need to go. Right, right, right. I see this alien thingy hugging a guy's face with a, like a built-in choker. My first thoughts are, we surely need to take that off. Let's dissect it, cut into it, you know, do all the smart things. Instead of killing him. No, that's not ruthless. Think about it. Like, that can't be good for anybody. It's on his face for a reason. It's got like an objective. It's not a bad thought process. Why don't you freeze him? That is one slow body scanner. <laughs> That's what she said. What is down his throat? <laughs> nah, bro. He said just a minute. This guy is on the wrong team, I'm telling you. He's made all the wrong decisions. Good. At least this guy, this doctor, looks like has a conscience. He knows the only move is to try to remove this thing, though. Ah, oh, look at that. 
the acid. Hmm. Acid blood. How broken is that? Like, that's such a crazy me mechanism. There has to be, like, one animal that has, like, acid blood. We got poison, but true disintegrating acid. You know what? I want to look that up. <laughs> what are you going to do? Wipe it up? <laughs> Let's see. What does Google Sensei say? Animals with acid blood. Nah. None just yet. There are animals that spit acid, of course. I mean, isn't all spit acidic? Wait, I don't know chemistry. Hold on, don't follow up on that one. <laughs> Saliva should be neutral, right? pH level. If you had acidic spit, I'd assume that's unhealthy. Like cobras, they have like acidic spit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done with my animal excursion. <laughs> I just had to know. gives you the creeps this guy's got an alien attached to his face how is nobody concerned i will never understand guys we found a cave full of alien eggs next to the source of the beacon i think we just need to slowly take our time and assess what exactly is attached to his face i mean it could be anything <laughs> Ah, that's so silly. Nah, -uh. that's that creepy stuff, bro. Bro turned off the screen, fake stretched. That's the you got caught and walked in on move. Pretend like you weren't looking at something you weren't supposed to be. That's so suspicious. I'm telling you, this guy right here, he's sus. Mm, yeah, okay. Ripley asking the right questions. What does it mean? Hmm. 
let him die. Hmm. Definitely did. <laughs> nah, he hit him with the you do your job, I'll do mine. All the while risking everybody's life on the ship. For what? Science? Ain't no way. shit something's happened he's got this thing attached to his face he's got an objective <laughs> but where is it I don't know seriously you lost the face hugger this isn't like a dog you don't just lose an alien. How has nobody panicked? Don't they have a system to like check his vitals? I don't know. Maybe that's too advanced. looking for this thing you know how clumsy are these people I that's the second time there is no way No, I'm getting nervous. I mean, uh, I'm not nervous. Are you nervous? Oh, nah. <laughs> she held that thing in her hands. Okay. This thing looks ugly. So glad we're poking around this big noodle face hugger pudding jelly looking thing. <laughs> the first time we run into this species, we have to test it.
I just run the ship. I don't trust him either, Ripley. You and me both. But keep in mind, you are now taking off with a dead alien that did who knows what to that guy's face. I don't know. I, I would never. I would throw them both out of the ship. It's the only way. I'm altering the vector now. <laughs> this sciencey talk, I love it. Right, you're finally back in space, but at what cost? You didn't even find the beacon. <laughs> you took an alien and left. Ten months. Nah, bro, he's not even explaining it. That's so sus. It's simpler if you had just came. Nah, buddy is not okay. Why are you letting him cough on you? Oh, nah, bro, I can't. Nah, bro, they're not gonna tell him he had an alien on him.
<laughs> oh my god. That guy is down bad. Oh no, nah, he's puking. Y'all should have put him in quarantine. me when I try to stay home from school. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should not be joking at this point. Look how cute it is, though. Look, it's a little baby xenomorph. It's kind of cute. Oh, hell no. Nah. This guy said don't touch it. <laughs> oh, bro, look at that thing scurry away. Ain't no way he said don't touch it. All right, I could never. As cute as that baby xenomorph may have been, I would have had my hands around its throat and choked it out. Now what are you going to do? He's stuck on a ship with an unknown alien, MIA. But nobody's worried about this MIA alien. Wow, so glad we finally ejected his body into space. It only took him giving birth to an alien <laughs> before we decided to do that. So smart. So what, their plan is to shock it? Wow, our science guy has designed a tracking device conveniently. Micro changes in air density. Catch it and throw it into space. Good idea. I wish somebody had thought about that earlier. Before. We do a lot of thinking here.
that as tiny as that alien is. They really think they're going to find it on this big ship. And I tell you what, alien goes missing. You're not going to be the one to find it. It's going to be the one to find you. don't want to make too much noise, she'll scare it off. It's in the locker. You know what it is, though? It's probably the cat. I guarantee it. Mr. Meowster. <laughs> the cat by himself rule number one don't split up does that ever work your kitty <laughs> I mean it worked for you <laughs> you don't remember pretty sure when we first met I said here kitty kitty and you came right into my arms. How romantic, I know. <laughs> nah, this dude's about to get eaten. That ain't Jonesy. Kitty ran away. It knew the right thing to do. What is that? Shed? The alien shedded its skin here. Your thought process is to just look. Nah, bro. I'm dipping. the design of those ships it's just so it's like aesthetically mechanical I don't know how else to describe it it's really pretty <laughs> of course I could never live on one 
No one jump scares 24 7. The mass size of these ships and the way that they designed it, it's so phenomenal. He's still doing the here, kitty kitty. How effective has that been? Ain't no way. I tell you what, maybe didn't work on the kitten, but it definitely would work on an alien. Nah. This is a death flag area. Why you gotta do this, man? <laughs> that cat is not afraid of you. It knows something you don't. Nope. Oh, there he goes. Wow, look how big it is. <laughs> how did it grow so big so quickly? It's the slow turnaround for me. Looking in the face of death. <laughs> but bro, that cat just witnessed a murder. He looks traumatized. Shouldn't have split up. <laughs> Can Brett be alive? No, he's dead. <laughs> how does he know how big it is? Fire. Wow, how smart. No way. No way. I mean, how did they get all that info about the alien? That's like a plot hole. They have no idea how big it is. They're just assuming. Unless it left like footprints. <laughs> I don't know. Or if it was caught in footage. It's possible.
<laughs> what are my chances? It does not compute. It sounds like something somebody was hoping to ask somebody else would try to calculate. Only to have the computer tell you, yeah, bro, you ain't, you got none. How unlucky. Okay, they're closing the airlock. The way that closed looks so cool. I mean, what is their plan to like walk up with the flames? Walk a flock of flame. <laughs> I'm sorry. It came out of nowhere. up is scary. I could never walk through airlocks like that. The way their design is so cool though. The little spinny blades like a camera lens, the aperture. He said close my escape. And moving on. Ugh, just the sound of the metal scraping. R.I.P. Soldier, sacrificed yourself for nothing. I mean, of course he has to die. This was a dumb plan to begin with. If you could at least trap it and get out, that would be ideal, so you can keep it, like, isolated in one area in the air duct. I've lost the signal. Oh nah, this guy's got its alien goop on his hands. It's right on top of you. They keep calling his name, like that's gonna help. Clear comms. <laughs> Right on top of you. Yeah, it's moving right towards you. <laughs> I 
No, not that way, the other way. That was a late calm. Come on, help him out. If he's moving in the wrong direction, you tell him as fast as you can. I mean, yeah, that thing, that thing's pretty much killing your whole team. <laughs> Mood. Let me think. <laughs> like is in war mode now. <laughs> Shut up. Hmm. Sounds about right. <laughs> no, you need to team up. You can't get the solo journey. I mean, why are they just doing this? control I've got my own access to mother what can you do now love it <laughs> this guy playing call of duty hold on Clearing as many angles as possible. Unable to clarify. Ensure return of organism. Crew expandable. Oh my god, this guy's so creepy. I knew he was evil. You stupid synth. Okay. 
Nah, the whole team wiped. <laughs> Wait, ain't no way he's locking her in. This guy is so evil. Literally locked her in. Ripley found out the truth, now he tries to get rid of her. <laughs> nah, bro. He's trying to stuff that in her mouth. Oh, wait, that sounds sus. Oh, wait, it's not, though. Look, he's literally doing it. That crew finally caught him. It's a fucking weirdo. going haywire and now he's spitting up white blood oh truth finally comes out this guy's a freaking robot he was never on our side it's risking everybody's lives for what nothing absolutely nothing Now the question is, who knew? The company that shipped him out probably, right? Bro, why is it just oozing guts on this guy? Alien guts or robot guts? Politics, huh? Bro, that image looks dirty. <laughs> Sorry, but you know it's true. Explain yourself, motherfucker. <laughs>
good choice. Light that bitch ablaze. All that noise, and for what? No, that cat is like more scary than the alien, I tell you. Ripley is doing its best to keep this cat alive. I tell you what, it's not enough. And all this noise, you're really trying to attract the alien. We love to see it. 
the best method. Man, that design is just so intense. No. That guy was such a neat character. Not like this. No. Oh no, he's done for. Oof. That's it, that's the end. Look how big it is. Wow. A cool little tail. The hook at the end too. Wow. Oh yeah, whole squad down. That's a squad wipe right there. <laughs> yeah, I told you, it's not as scary as it is. Intense. Oh, come on, those buttons are not a keyboard. There's no way you know what to click there. Now that everybody's dead, the only option is to blow up ship, right? choice. Love that. Automatic detonation, we love to hear that.
Yeah, this countdown's going quicker than I thought. Okay, five minutes. Self-destruct. If I was in a situation like this, you know my first objective is to either get to the escape pod or find a way to murder this alien. I mean, it took out the whole squad. I'd be going on a vengeful tour. I'm going to go out anyway. May as well try, right? You know what you're doing me dirty. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can't go out like that. Yeah, you know, these flashing lights are gonna kill my eyes. Can they chill? No, all right, Jones, forgot the kitty. Can't forget the kitty before we take the escape pod. That makes sense. <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at? Ain't no way. One minute to abandon ship. Okay. Finally in the the evacuation ship. All right, you're home free, right? Right? <laughs> so intense. You're far away now, right? Like, how far can explosions go in space? Alright, that's a... <laughs> that's a pretty big wave. Wow. 
and that actually almost hurt my eyes. Me when I wake up in the morning. All right, do you need to show the same blow up angle like three times in a row? Like one pulse is enough. <laughs> I swear they were so out of pocket. 1979. Finally blew up the ship. Good on you, Ripley. Everybody's dead. <laughs> but you survived, so you can always tell the story. Let it be known the day you almost caught Captain Ripley and her pet cat. And this devious little kid, I swear. No, I'm just saying if I was a kitty, I would not want to be on the ship, even if you think it's safe. You never know what aliens could be hiding. Wait, you can just put the cat to hypersleep? That's a thing? How convenient. <laughs> yeah, she could put anything in a hypersleep. interesting hmm. okay Ripley built different. <laughs> no, -uh, darling. Not like you. You're built special. Wait, is that not the alien, by the way? Look at that thing. <laughs> it stored itself away on the ship. Nah. I've had enough. Ain't no way this alien stored itself on the ship. How did you even know it's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I'm not about to discuss the logistics of this alien slot process of being aware the ship is going to explode and conveniently finding the right ship. Was he in fetal position though? <laughs> Okay. What do you do in a situation like this? Smart. You put on the spacesuit. Can't be showing your bare skin to this alien. No. Where's your modesty at? Hmm. 
Why it's sticking out its tongue though? What is it doing? <laughs> I can't believe it was just sitting there sleeping. Okay. I like the plan, Ripley. And we blast this thing out in space, right? It's the only way. I think it's not like being blasted by like, what is this? Alright, finally got it to drop one now. So bold. You have no choice in the face of survival. <laughs> Don't turn around, Ripley. Do what you need to do. Nah. Sheesh. Blew the thing out of the airlock. Oh, it's in the engine. Oh, this is where you really hit it. Okay, okay. Valid. <laughs> I like that. So smart. Wow. Just like you. I know you would come up with a plan like that. 200 IQ. Yep, everybody dead. Destroyed the ship. All because this stupid little alien and robot worked hand in hand uh, I guess it's the company's fault though now oh, you down with capitalism even in 1979 we knew businesses would only work in their own self-interest <laughs> who is surprised about that not me